In this video, we're going to be talking about how to create private Teams channels. Now, this is a continuation from a previous video all about how to create Teams channels. So if you're looking for an explanation about what Teams channels are and you're not yet familiar with that, then please watch the previous video before watching this one. In the previous video, we looked at creating Teams channels and we explained all the differences about what Teams channels are and why you should use them. Um, now, in this video, we're going to be looking at how to create a restricted Teams channel. So you can see here, for example, a restricted Teams channel is something that only a subdivision of your team members will have access to. So you might use this, for example, um, for sort of the managers of a, of a team that have access to it. Um, or maybe it's um, for a good example would be like finance, so they only have access to financial kind of information. Now, to create a private team uh, channel is really easy. All you need to do is click on the three dots next to uh, the, the, uh, the, the team name and we're under this quick actions we've got add channel and then we've got this option here of set, setting the privacy to be private which means specific team, uh, sort of what it says teammates, but team members have access. So maybe let's just going to say that this is going to be our managers private channel. Now I would recommend that you have the word private or restricted. Sometimes I see sometimes people put, say, restricted in brackets next to it, just so it's really obvious um, that this is a private channel. You can give it a little description as well to maybe say, this is only for managers to access. And then when you click on create, this is going to create you your channel. But first, it's going to ask you who should be the sub members. So I might just say, it's only myself and George that is going to have access to this particular channel. So when I click on done, I've now got this managers channel and I can see it's got a little padlock next to it, which shows me that it is a private channel. And I've also put some little terminology here uh, for myself restricted. So I know it's also a restricted private channel. It's also worth mentioning that these private channels will only show up to people who are a member of that private channel. So anyone else who's outside of this. So for, uh, for example, it's only myself and my team member, George, that would see this managers channel. Nobody else in the team would actually even see that channel created. It does actually create uh, its own files area as well. So we do get uh, our own files area with this private channel. And of course, we do have our own conversation areas as well. We can create our own tabs. There might be some tabs to documents which only managers are interested in or links to websites, for example, across the top. But essentially, it's a collaboration space for a sub uh, division of the team. I hope you found that video about how to create private Teams channels useful. Uh, if you did, please do like this video, subscribe to the channel for more Microsoft Teams training tips.